Hey everybody, this is Pastor Tyler Baker of Valiant Baptist Church, and we are located in the Jacksonville, Florida area. So I'm coming to you with another episode in the series of Alcohol in the Bible, wherein I am proving that Christians are not only commanded to abstain from drunkenness, as many Christians think, but that we are also, in the Bible, told to abstain from drinking alcohol completely. We're actually told not even to look at it, and uh, it is a sin for a Christian to drink alcohol. I'm proving that throughout this series. Now, a lot of Christians' ignorance when it comes to this subject is their misunderstanding of the word wine in the Bible. The word wine is an older word that just meant juice at the time of the King James Bible translation. That word wine could either be referring to fermented juice or unfermented juice, and that is alcoholic juice or non-alcoholic juice. So the word wine is a general word that can sometimes be referring to alcohol, but a lot of times is not. The vast majority of the times it is not. I'm using a lot of different scriptures uh, here in the recent series just to prove to you that the word wine is oftentimes not alcoholic. I have a really good one for you in this episode, and that is Isaiah chapter number 16, verse number 10. The Bible reads, and gladness is taken away and joy out of the plentiful field. And in the vineyards there shall be no singing, neither shall there be shouting. Then the Bible says this, the treaders shall tread out no wine in their presses. I have made their vintage shouting to cease. Now, of course, the phrase that I want to focus on in Isaiah chapter number 16, verse number 10 is, the treaders shall tread out no wine in their presses. Now, most people are familiar with what a wine press is. A wine press is a tool or a piece of equipment uh, that was used in antiquity or time past to extract, extract the juice from a grape. They would go out and harvest a cluster of grapes uh, uh, you know, from the vineyard. It still, of course, has oftentimes the, the vine just attached to that one cluster. They'd put it in the wine press and they would tread upon it. That's the treader that Isaiah 16.10 is referring to. That's the person that's actually stepping on or stomping the grapes. The purpose of that is to extract the juice, as I said, from the grape. Now, it is scientifically impossible for the juice that is inside of the grape to be alcoholic. That's not possible. And if you were to be honest and you know, intellectually honest with this, you would have to admit that there is no way that during the process of treading out the, the, the grapes at the wine press that you would you know, uh, produce wine. It's not possible. What you are going to have at the bottom of that wine press that you just tread out is juice. In our modern vernacular, we would call that juice. And of course, that would be non-alcoholic juice or specifically non-alcoholic grape juice. I want you to notice, if you look a little closer in this passage, what that particular juice is referred to as in Isaiah 16.10. It says, the treaders shall tread out no wine in their presses. So what are they treading out? Well, the Bible says wine. Now, can that be? Is it possible for that to be alcoholic wine? It is not. Therefore, we can conclude just from basic logic, just from reading these scriptures, it becomes very obvious, and the Bible defines itself. It creates a scenario here where we can clearly determine and come to the conclusion that the word wine there is cannot be, it's impossible to be, referring to alcohol, proving once again that the word wine is oftentimes just referring to juice. God bless you, and have a good day.